gains from trade and we're going to start off with comparative advantage and absolute advantage. Now comparative advantage is where a person can perform an activity at a lower opportunity cost than anyone else. And this doesn't have to be a person, it can be any sort of entity, for example it can be a business or a country. Absolute advantage is where a person is more productive than others. And again, this doesn't have to be a person. It can also be a business, a country, or some sort of entity uh, in the likes. Differences in opportunity cost stem from individual activities and from differences in the characteristics of other resources. So uh, I guess in this case, uh, a good example would be by comparing countries. Now, different countries have different kind of resources. So, so this is why different countries have different opportunity costs. Because they have the resources that some other countries don't have and because they have people with abilities that uh, some other country do not have. Now, an absolute advantage involves comparing productivities. And an example of that would be production per hour. Comparative advantage, on the other hand, involves comparing opportunity costs, and we will discuss the comparative advantage and absolute advantage more in uh, the coming example. A person who has an absolute advantage does not have a comparative advantage in every activity. An example of this would be Furious Pete, who you guys may have watched on YouTube, and I, for one, think he is a better eater and better YouTuber than most people. I mean, he has all these subscribers. And there you go, he has an absolute advantage in these two activities, uh, making YouTube videos, a YouTuber, and eating, become one of the best eaters out there. So compared to, but compared to others, he is a better eater than YouTuber, and that's his comparative, and his comparative advantage is in eating, because, because not a lot of people can eat like he can eat, but there are some people who are much better YouTubers than him, and has, and have much more subscribers. Now, comparative advantage is a situation in which one person's opportunity cost of producing a good is lower than another person's opportunity cost of producing that same good. And again, this doesn't really have to be a person's uh, a person's advantage or a person's opportunity cost. It could be a business or a country or some kind of uh, similar entity. So, for example, uh, Canada would probably be uh, a good example of a country who is good at producing uh, wood or timber and they have a really low opportunity cost compared to uh, some other country like Egypt uh, in producing timber because I think well I never been to Egypt but looking at the movies all they have is sand in my point of view so that's why uh, in this uh, fictional or non-fictional situation, Canada would have a comparative advantage in producing limber or because they have a lower opportunity cost than Egypt. And in the next example, or in this new example, this is an example of Jack versus Jill, a uh, burger and bar, energy bar battle royale. And this example is what I will go through in the next video. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.